Welcome to today's live learning, how to free ourselves from the identification with our limited self, how to free ourselves from the identification with our limited self. I'm Peggy O'Neill, and I'm the founder of Answering the Call and the creator of Wisdomary Leading, which is a way of approaching leading our lives, our teams, our organizations, our families, our communities, and the world based on the understandings, the teachings of the great wisdom traditions and what science is also telling us for the last 100 years that we share our being with everyone and everything, that we're not separate from anyone or anything, including source, including ourselves, and that uh, the source of our suffering, our unhappiness, our conflicts with others, conflicts with uh, nations, wars, and the devastation of the planet are all caused by this simple misunderstanding, profound misunderstanding that each of us innocently has until we embrace and know in our being the one shared being that we all are. So welcome as we continue our exploration and not just exploration, but embodiment of who we truly are. And if you're here live, please say hi. If you have any questions or comments, hey, Sharon, so glad to see you. Or to know you're here. <laughs> and so anybody else here live, please say hi. And if you have any questions or comments at any time, let me know and we will, I will answer them. If you're watching this on replay, please put hashtag replay. Same thing. If you have questions, comments, Put them in the comments and I'll come back and answer them. So let's get started. How to free ourselves from the identification with our limited self. So first, why even think about this question? Well, who we are, like I said, we share our being with everyone and everything. So we are source, which means we're actually unlimited. What could that mean? Well, to a great extent, we don't know. Our finite, limited self and understanding has no clue. <laughs> but as we open to who we truly are, really open and not let our minds run our lives, then we can start opening to infinite possibilities, wisdom, intelligence, that we don't even have a clue that are available to us especially as long as we believe we're finite, live as finite beings, and identify with ourselves as a limited, finite being. In all of our lives, we've done this. Nobody's done anything wrong. We were conditioned to identify with our minds, to condition to identify with our body. This seems real limited, doesn't it? Um, but we're not that. And so there is a way for us to free ourselves from these um, inherited limitations, these believed limitations, is uh, using our natural abilities to focus. It's a human ability that we have is to focus and to focus our attention, to expand our attention. So we use that. We're going to use that in just a minute. And it's going to be an experiential process today that you can keep doing. You can come back and watch this Take notes, do it on your own over and over and over again as often as it comes to you to do. So not like a practice, I do not recommend. Maybe to get started for a few days to time it, to put it a date and time in your calendar, you're going to do something like this, that's great. But as a practice, then it, then it uh, becomes rigid and like you're trying to get somewhere and that defeats all of this. And we all want to get somewhere, we've been conditioned to want to get somewhere too. But what we want to do is relax into this to allow ourselves to remember, to think of it. So you can put a post-it note around, and if, if it comes to you to do this, then, um, or you see it, and you go, oh, yeah, I'm going to go do that right now. Reminders are great. But to allow your natural, um, your natural intuition, your natural what comes to you to do, let that inform when you do this and how often you do it. But you can do it. Off and on, if you do it a few times, it's really easy to do all the time. And especially when we're caught up in our thinking mind and we notice that. And when we free ourselves of our identification with this limited self, again, possibilities become available to us 
that we could not notice before. They're right here right now. We just can't notice them. We can't hear them. We can't access them because we're so identified with limitations. All right, I'll see if there's a question or, or anything before. Okay, so we will begin. So this is an experiential process. Keep your eyes open. If you're driving and listening to this, don't do this right now. Don't do this. <laughs> do this after you get home. Uh, but but even though don't do it while you're driving, you can keep your eyes open. In fact, I want you to keep your eyes open to do this experiential process. So begin by focusing your attention on a specific sound. So right now I'm talking. You can focus on that sound, but maybe you notice... Uh, uh, your refrigerator humming, or a fan humming, or maybe you hear a bird outside, some other faint noise. Put your attention on a specific sound, all of your attention. Focus on it completely to the exclusion of everything else. Now, similarly to the lens of a camera or zooming out on an item on your computer screen, widen out your attention as far as you can and include everything you hear simultaneously. Widen out your attention as far as you can and include everything you hear simultaneously. Keep zooming out. Don't think about this. If you notice yourself trying to think about this, figure it out, just do, just come back to the instructions. Just zoom out your attention, becoming aware of all sounds simultaneously. Zoom out some more. Let everything you hear be in your awareness equally. Now, do the same thing with an object that you see. So find an object. It could be a pen on your desk. It could be a cup on the table in front of you. A flower in a vase. Maybe a picture on a wall. Pick, pick an object and focus as intently as possible on this specific object. All of your attention on this specific object. And again, allow your attention to widen, to zoom out until everything you see is in your awareness simultaneously. It may help to soften and unfocus your eyes. So you might want to soften and unfocus your eyes. And zoom out until everything you see is in your awareness simultaneously. Zoom out some more. Everything in all directions. Don't move your head. Just everything in all directions. Let yourself see. Let your attention go to everything that you see in all directions, but without moving your head. Zoom out some more. 
Let everything you see be in your awareness at once, zooming out. Now, focus on a scene in your mind from the past. It might be that you had breakfast with a significant other or a lunch conversation with a friend or images of your team in a meeting or you working in your garden. Focus on a scene in your mind from the past and hold this image in your mind and focus on it as intensely as you can. Now zoom out your attention to include everything in your current experience. All sounds, all sights, all sensations, all thoughts, all images in your mind. Everything that you're aware of. Don't focus on any of it in particular. But zoom out your attention to include everything in your current experience everything that you're aware of. Zoom out even more, everything that you're aware of. Let everything you experience be in your awareness all at once. Zoom out some more. You may notice your awareness trying to focus on something again, usually a thought. When you notice this, zoom out again. So that's a wonderful exercise to help us free ourselves from the identification with our limited self. Hopefully you felt that. Sharon, if you have any thoughts about that, and anybody else that's here, what was your experience? Were you able to notice that you could quit identifying with the contents of your mind, the contents of your limited self, and experience the expansiveness that you truly are? You can do this as often as you want. And again, what we're doing is we're releasing our identification with the limited self, with our mind, which is the biggest thing that keeps us feeling limited and acting limited and accessing only limited thoughts and limited ideas. 
So keep returning to this so you can live, live the infinite life that is right here, right now, as we quit identifying with this limited self that we believe ourselves to be. So thank you for being here today. We do have an, the ongoing praxis um, with Wisdom Mary Leading, ongoing practice. Oh, Sharon, I allowed everything in when we zoomed out. Great. Great. Um, so the ongoing praxis where we, where we stay in this conversation, stay in the conversation. So it's not sporadic, not just a few minutes here or a few minutes there, but we stay in this conversation with weekly sessions and once a month, longer sessions, one-on-one -on -one calls with me. So it's a deep, rich experience to help you and all of us live as this knowing love to have a conversation with you about this if it interests you resonates at all and um and right now we're focused we're moving into we're just starting focusing on how this applies to healing our bodies having the whole healthy body that is actually what we truly are and by healing it can be healing in different ways it can be healing the body but it might be healing the emotional component of physical issues. And we're bringing in the works of Stella Eisenstein, uh, Lisa Warner, Claire Diamond, uh, Lynn McTaggart, and others. So I've taken courses, read these books. I've put this all together for us to work together to really integrate living our life as a fully healthy, whole human being with our bodies as well. And, and these, some of these people have healed, healed themselves of cancer. And um, so it's very, very exciting what we're putting together and what we're working with. Sharon, it's amazing how easy that is if you allow that open sensing. Yeah, great. Yeah, and just doing this exercise that we just did uh, fairly often, it just will become second nature to you, where you relax your eyes, allow everything in, uh, and stay open and, and sense more and then again that's when whole new possibilities become available to us including healthy healthier bodies healing our bodies relaxing our attention from all the beliefs that we had i saw an article come in the other day i haven't read it yet but a woman said are we being something like are we being taught to uh to have disease i mean it's just constant on tv constant uh, in, in what we see about disease. So it's definitely, we're being influenced constantly that, that all this, that, um, uh, about disease. So if we pay attention to that and take that on, then we're starting to live with those beliefs and that thinking. So that's just kind of a side, <laughs> side comment. All right. So, uh, but anyway, would love for you to join us in the Praxis. Let me know, message me or email me at Peggy at peggy-oneal.com. We'll have a conversation. And um, it's fantastic. All right. Thank you, Sharon, for being here. And let's see, Sharon, we tend to forget that we are a body-mind fully integrated with source. There is no separation and the healing comes naturally. Oh, how beautifully, beautifully said, Sharon. That is so true. And you've said it wonderfully. Yes, fully integrated with source. I love that. And once we know that, as you're saying then we can, we're integrating that. There's no separation. Healing comes naturally. Now, it does take some, take some work, so to speak, to, to start removing. We talk about this a lot in the praxis. You know, we, um, we have a lot of beliefs and emotions, just like this container. Each of these little baubles is like, is like uh, a belief and or an emotion that keeps us feeling limited and holds historic patterns, holds habits, historic patterns, thoughts, feelings that keeps us not as free, not free, because we're filled up with all this. And so as we do the work, so to speak, to release beliefs or to allow, sorry, we don't release beliefs, beliefs start dissolving. Emotional patterns start dissolving. Uh, body issues start dissolving as we do the work. And then we're opening more and more fully to this, to this open, empty portal that we actually are, where we can listen to consciousness, access consciousness, and let consciousness flow fully and freely. And as Sharon's mentioning too, 
healing comes naturally. So all this comes more naturally as we start allowing these to dissolve. So we open to this. All right. Thanks again. See you soon. Have a great, uh, this is Friday if you're, if you're, anyway, have a great weekend is what I started to say. So whenever you're watching this, have a great day or weekend. Thanks. Bye.